Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I decided to create an eye look using this Viseart Dark Edit Eyeshadow Palette. Now as you can see, this palette is so super cute. It is very tiny, but there is a mirror inside. And these are the beautiful shades. There are eight mattes and four shimmer shadows. Beautiful color story, and I really had a good time creating this eye look. So if you'd like to see it, then stick around because it's coming up next. So like I said, this is what this palette looks like, this beautiful purple packaging. It opens up like a little envelope, like so. You do get a plastic covering over the shadows, and it's a really, really pretty warm color story. Now when swatching this palette, I got a little nervous. <laughs> Not too nervous because I've seen people use Viseart shadows, so I know that they're amazing, but the swatches were really, really discouraging. But as you can see, the shimmers swatch so nicely. Beautiful, creamy, silky, and so I was pretty excited to check it out. So I started out using this first matte shade, uh, Persimmon. It's a beautiful, beautiful, like burnt orange shade, but it's really, really deep and highly pigmented, as you can see. Now, there aren't any names listed in the palette itself. The names are listed on the back of the box. So if you care about that, the names of the shadows are on the back of the box. But as you can see, I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush and just kind of blowing that out throughout my crease and making sure that it is nice and evenly placed. But yeah, I just went in <laughs> one dip and that's how much pigmentation I got, you guys. So next, I decided to use the purple shade. This is a really pretty, it's, the name of the shade is Lavender, but it's a really kind of deep magenta purple shade, in my opinion. It's a gorgeous shadow, but as you can see, I'm just using that to deepen the outer corner of this eye look, blending it into that first shade and just barely tapping it down and blending it out. I was really curious to see how these shadows would layer on top of each other. And it looks really, really nice. Very, very nice. You can see the color and it's blending very easily into that orange shade. Now I wanted to deepen up the outer corner a bit and this color is called Forret. And it was kind of confusing to me because sometimes it looks like a really, really dark, dark blue. But when I was looking at it, I thought it was black. So that's what I was using, you know, to deepen the outer corner. I'm still not sure if it's a super, super dark blue <laughs> or a black. But either way, it works just as nicely as a really dark black shadow just to kind of deepen up that outer corner. Now for my lid, I'm starting out with the orange shimmer, and this one is called Burnished Copper. Gorgeous, gorgeous orange shimmer shadow. And as you can see, I did spray my brush to lay that down. I didn't want to cut my crease today, but I did want to see how this shadow would lay down with a flat brush and with a little bit of spray and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now right next to that I wanted to add the purple shade so this is the color Calypso. I sprayed my brush for this as well and just laid that right next to that orange shade and just kind of carved out the rest of my lid and you guys can see how easily it's just laying down on my lid. It's beautifully shining and blending so effortlessly with that first shimmer. I mean, these were some really nice shimmers to work with. Very, very pretty. So I'm just going in, taking my time, making sure that those two shimmers are blended nicely and that crease area is cut out nice and neat. 
Next, I'm going in with my NYX Matte Black Liquid Eyeliner. And you guys know I use this eyeliner all the time. It's one of my favorites. Very easy to use. I like how it dries down matte. And it makes it pretty easy to create wing liners. If you like doing wings and using liquid liner, then this is a nice, easy, easy one to use. Now I decided I wanted to add a little bit of glitz, so I take I'm taking this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. It's like a dual ended, I don't know, like cream shadow and glitter. So one side is glitter and the other side is a cream shadow. And I'm just taking a liner brush and dragging that across my crease area. <laughs> I'm no expert at this, so you'll see that it isn't nice and neat and perfect, but I thought it was really pretty. I'm lining my lower lash line with my L'Oreal Silk Kissing Me Eyeliner, and it's just a black pencil eyeliner. And to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going back into that matte purple shade and just smoking right below my lashes with that purple. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into the gold shimmer, spraying my brush again. The name of this shadow is Bullion, <laughs> and I mean, it popped like so beautifully. You can see the pigmentation on these shimmers. It's amazing. Now, since I was being fancy with the glitter, I decided to go ahead and add some 3D faux mink lashes, and I'm just placing those on, as you can see just to kind of add a little bit of drama to this look. I like these lashes. They're pretty and they don't do too much to take away from the eye look, I don't think, but I think they're very nice. Now for lips, I'm going in with the ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. One of my favorites, you guys know. And I'm using uh, one of my lipsticks this is a pop feel lipstick. It's a lip cream matte in the shade LA10. I thought this color went beautifully with this eye look. And I'm topping that off with my e.l.f. Mocha Twist Gloss, of course. And I really, really like how this lip turned out. So to set this all in place, I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Spray. And this is the look, you guys. I really like how it turned out. Of course, I'm not an expert with the glitter. So you'll notice that my eyes are not completely even, a little bit crooked, but for the eyeshadow palette, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It perform performed beautifully, which I didn't expect anything less for a Viseart but I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm gonna practice more using glitter, you guys, and hopefully I'll get better at it, but this is what we have. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!